Esper Aspire V15 Nitro VN7 491G 792U Aspire V15 Nitro Black Edition BYOC Bring your own cloud Cool Alright Let's see what she looks like Oh beautiful I gotta say this packaging is awesome This looks sweet Let's see the charger Nothing unique and it looks like the big box is in the middle. And I just opened, I had an open, I just opened that Acer here a little while ago and the charger was actually right up on this plug. And it looks like Acer got their charger about halfway down the cable. Which is, you know, most people, it's interesting to know that because uh, you might going to want to know where this will be hanging. So, anyway, I said Acer, and this Aspire, the charger looks like it's about halfway down the cable. That's good to know. Alright, and here is the price. Alright, she's thin. Nice and thin. Look at that, beautiful. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Oh my god, that looks nice. That is one nice laptop. That is beautiful. Very thin. Looks very beautiful. Look at that shiny. That looks nice. Is there anything else in here? It looks like a little booklet. And that's it. Other than that, this is it right here. The Acer Aspire V15 unboxing video. Let's open it up real quick. Good feel to it. Has a beautiful feel to it. Very nicely packaged. Um, nice. First impression, it looks awesome. Okay, GTX uh, 960M, very powerful graphic chip in it. Intel Core i7. And what's unique about this guy is that it's a quad-core processor. Processor very fast. 
Uh, the only downside on this laptop is that it has a very um, slow hard drive. So the hard drive will need to be changed on this. But uh, once you put a new hard drive in it, hopefully I'm going to be putting in a brand new SSD in here. And once I change the S and the hard drive to an SSD, it should be extremely fast. Which is probably going to be my next video is changing this hard drive inside this um, to an SSD to make it much faster. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so uh, I went and bought a uh, Crucial MX200, which is a uh, 500 gigabyte SATA M.2, and uh, this is the easiest installation. You just take it and it goes right in here, nice and easy. It's kind of hard to do when I got the camera, but it goes in right there. Then you put it in a screw right in there, and that's it. Now I'm going to reattach the cables, keyboard cables, right back over here to the motherboard. And I should be good to go. I did not replace the one terabyte physical drive. I'm going to leave that like this for now. Maybe in the future I'll change that back to an SSD too. Um, but uh, that's it for now. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to show. Um, these connectors right here close up this is what most people were asking about how these connectors work here's how you uh, how these connectors work on this laptop um, these two small ones right here they are as easy as clipping this on and off in order to connect and disconnect you just move that with your nail click on and off same with this one on this one it's a little different it actually got these little wings that you have to push up and down once you stick the connection in there you have to click these little wings up and down all right so that should help anybody that's wondering how these connections work uh, for example like this one right here uh, this will go in and one of this I gotta take a look because I took a picture before I took it apart so I gotta see which one of these it goes goes in there and then that just snaps down okay and the other one kind of the same it goes in in here and then it just you just push these little things on the side and then you're good to go alright so I reattached the SSD is back and it's screwed in as you can see I reattached all three connectors you can see them a little closer here you got all three connectors and the flaps are lowered so they're all attached and this white one the one all the way to the right is the white one that goes to the hard drive and then the ones that go to the keyboard you got these three right here that I just reattached and now all I gotta do is snap the keyboard back down and we're in business with a SSD upgrade. M.2 SSD upgrade. So um, the reason I made this video is that I looked for a similar video out there and I couldn't find the only one that's out there is in German. And uh, this might explain a little better how to upgrade this specific laptop uh, with an SSD M.2 or a regular SSD hard drive these connectors are the only thing that's a little tricky you got to make sure you don't break but um, that's it if you can disconnect these connectors you can do it um, the memory it's right underneath the motherboard you actually have to 
take out all these different connectors and unscrew the four different screws on this motherboard and uh, you'll see the memory actually on the other side so that's a little bit more work but if you just look into upgrade the SSD M.2 um, it's an easy task you just plug that thing right in there and there's your regular SSD if you just want to upgrade that keyboard lowered back down I didn't do nothing but lower the keyboard now all you gotta do is come back here and slowly snap it right back into place all the way in the back over here you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna snap this together like that you snap it all the way over to the other side you go around and snap them all back into place and once you do that you come back over here and you screw you put your screws back on, you got 12 different screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You screw those back on and you are in business. There we go.